Hello everyone and welcome back to my Rocket Punch series. Today is episode 2, all about Blue Punch. Now, uh, this was another good album. Um, I felt like it was really catchy. It was also really fun. Um, there, but there was definitely growers in this one. So, so far when it comes to Rock and Punch, I've been having the time of my life. Um, but I felt that this is the first album where some songs kind of made me pause, you know, because so far I've really loved the song. Even songs that were not my favorite, I still listen to them a lot compared to like other songs that I have not been like my favorite but still part of the album. I don't know what it is about those previous songs, but they really call to me, <laughs> if that makes sense. But with this one, this is the first one where it kind of took me a while to get into some songs and there's even a song that I still don't get to this day, right? I've listened to this for two weeks almost now and um, I still feel the same way. And it's just so interesting because um, I feel like it happens with every single artist, it happens because music taste is subjective. So what I find um, appealing and nice and everything may not be the same for somebody else. And because I have genres and sounds that I prefer over others, sometimes I, may, I do not, you know, get something or song i do not get a song because it's just not my cup of tea but it does not make the song bad if that makes sense and i think that's what happened here like the songs are good but it's definitely took me some effort to um really enjoy them and for one of them it's just not working out so um when we talk about One Summer Night and Twinkle Star. Those two songs took me a while to get into. Initially, when I listened to the album, I did not like them. But then the more I listened to the album, I started to like enjoy myself. It started with like the chorus and then it went on to the full song. And now I really love those songs. You know, they're still not favorite, but they definitely grew on me. But then the the which is one of the songs on there, I think it's the last one on the album, it's just not working out. And now it's just so interesting to experience because it's like I'll be having the time of my life listening to the album and then I reach the last song and it's just not working out. It, it's just so interesting because it's not that much different from the other songs on the album, but there's something about it that's just not working out for me. But it's okay, like I said, it's totally normal. Um, you're not always going to love 100% of what an artist put out. But other than that, the album is really well made. The songs are catchy, fun, and they're definitely one of those like that just stick in your head and then here you go for a week a month just singing to those songs when it comes to my personal favorites i have two of them number two is summer punch
number one in the album is Juicy. That was my favorite song in this album. It's fun, it's catchy. I love it because technically I will not enjoy this type of song because it's a bit too bright, but it works. You know, um, it's fun, it's fresh without feeling bubblegummy, which I really commend them for. So let me know what you thought about this album, how many favorites do we have in common, and if you want more, check out their dedicated playlist on the channel.